Ukraine resumes evacuations after Russian provocations Ukraine says it is reopening humanitarian quarters and evacuating civilians from war scarred regions after a one day pause over what Kyiv called possible Russian provocations. Three humanitarian corridors were agreed for today, Ukrainian Deputy Prime Minister Irina Vershchuk said in a video statement posted on Telegram, a day after announcing their closure, citing intelligence reports. Ukraine, Russia attacks in Donetsk, Luhansk repelled Ukraine's army says it successfully repelled seven Russian attacks in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions, two regions partially controlled by pro-Moscow separatists. Ukrainian forces destroyed 10 jets, three helicopters, four drones, 12 Russian tanks, 10 armored vehicles and shot down two cruise missiles, the army said. It added that an unspecified number of Russian soldiers were also killed in the attacks. Al Jazeera could not independently verify the figures provided. Russia warns Poland to stay out of the Ukraine war Poland has become vital in the Western effort to defend Ukraine, and some of the fighting is getting close to its border. Last week, Russian forces targeted the western Ukrainian city of Lviv, near the Polish border, just as the U.S. president was visiting Poland. The situation has forced NATO to decide on how to respond to such incidents within the borders of its member states. Russia still poses a significant threat to Kyiv Russia poses a significant threat to Kyiv through their attack capability even though Ukrainian forces continue localized counterattacks to the northwest of the city. According to British military intelligence, Russian forces have maintained their offensive on Mariupol with continuous heavy shelling of the city, the Ministry of Defense said in a statement, although the city's center is still under Ukrainian control. Elsewhere, Russian forces are maintaining blocking positions while attempting to reorganize and reset their forces, it added. Ukrainian officials warned that Russia could try to split the country in two, calling it a Korean scenario. The U.S. Defense Department reports more Russian ground activity against Ukrainian forces in the Donbas region, assessing that Moscow is prioritizing the eastern region. Russian forces are trying to gain full control of Ukraine's southern coast and link up with territory they've held in eastern Ukraine's Donbas region for years. Ukrainian military officials say they are now launching counter-offensives.